Father, we come in the name of Jesus. This our October 2022 telethon. And we pray that in the name of Jesus, we will see miracle after miracle in relation to the financing of this ministry. After nearly three years of lockdown, physical resources being used to look after our dear brother Brian whose mortal remains was buried in All Saints Oswald Twistle last Tuesday and miraculously the funds came in so that a funeral too could take place but if we are to achieve our aim to reach every creature by perfecting the saints we need to build up our money supply our operation in Whithorn alone costing about five thousand pounds per month and that's before our worldwide outreach i'm pointing out to the people of great britain the great sins that have beset our nation. Oh, how the nation needs to repent. You know, last evening I was watching The Crown, the Netflix movie. And it was very touching when it came to the coronation and the anointing. With emphasis on the word inviolably. That our monarch in 1953 inviolably pledged on behalf of the nation to keep certain promises. And there has to be a Lord Protectorate ministry to ensure those monasteries, those, those, those promises, those ministries, those things which God holds so precious are kept. By far the easiest way to give is to go to the footer of www.ecctv.org where you will find stewardship and PayPal buttons. With the stewardship button, there's opportunity there to claim gift aid from UK taxpayers. We ask you to help us in our prophetic calling to show the monarch, successive governments and the British people what has happened to our country how the nation has turned away from God and is under a curse. Oh, Father, we come before you and we pray for the resources to fulfill the call thou has given us. <sighs> but give me one moment, recovering from a heavy cold. We pray the resources to come in so we can show this new monarch, King Charles III, the obligations of what is to be his coronation. Oh, they dare not touch it. Within the oath is the word inviolably, which was shown on the Netflix movie. And this inviolably means certain obligations have to be kept. <coughs> One, inviolably keeping the settlement as described in the coronation service this being the elizabethan settlement of the first elizabeth 
which includes increase in virtue, meaning the anointing of Christ's religion, a repression and extirpation of all errors, heresies, other enormities and abuses. The monarch to act in the line of repressing these extremities that religiously affect the nation. We are to conserve peace, unity and tranquility, repress the infiltration of foreign laws <coughs> excuse me, and systems into our nation. Well, what a mess it's been with the Green Movement. God has provided fossil fuel for our nation. Underground gas, coal seams, and yes, we don't want the smoke-filled cities like we used to have, but there is now clean coal technology which needs to be used in relation to production of smokeless coal. In addition to this, our oil is so great in the North Sea and gas seams which need to be opened and what God has given us we're ignoring in relation to false green ideology which talks of man-made climate change. And oh yes, it's true, but only to a tiny degree. Most of climate change is a result of what happens on the sun, S-U-M. So we need to repress foreign laws, errors, heresies. And there needs to be Christians in our coronation service <coughs> based on Judeo-Christian heritage, based on the coronation of Solomon, Nathan the prophet, the Zadok priesthood within the service based on the Old Testament coronation of Solomon. There is a demand to maintain the statutes, laws and customs of the realm. The government of the people <coughs> being the monarch's responsibility according to the statutes of parliament and the laws and customs of the same. But remember, each parliamentary law begins with prayer. So how can there be nearly 10 million babies aborted in the reign of the last monarch? If each law begins with prayer, asking for guidance of the Holy Spirit, meaning law and justice and mercy has to be executed in all judgments. The oath continues with the demand that the laws of God be maintained. The monarch being obligated to do this by the utmost of his power as it is now, meaning he is honor bound not to allow laws onto the statute book to contravene the word of God. Any such law being null and void according to this constitutional demand. The utmost of the monarch's power has to be used in relation to the ongoing profession of the gospel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So all these arrests of street preachers have all along been illegal. The ongoing profession of the gospel, the Protestant Reformed religion established by law, rights and privileges being given by law to bishops and clergy meaning in reality that anyone who tries to quiet the ministry of the gospel <coughs> would in effect be guilty of this high treason. And though there has been a time of mourning in our nation in relation to the death of the queen, but has she had the backing of successive governments in relation to the keeping of these promises? For in her reign, this is the actual figure, the last figure I could get a hold of. 9,446,068 unborn lives lost due to her signature on the 1967 Abortion Act. And instead of suppressing errors and heresies, her Majesty has embraced the green agenda of the globe. 
and I'm now referring to His Majesty, of course. Part of the World Economic Forum, he spoke at his very first meeting. With the lies of man-made climate change. And oh yes, climate change is, it always has it's periods of cold and periods of heat. But within the equation of this green agenda, there has to be a ministry which stands for the truth. A ministry that stands for man and woman marriage. A ministry that stands for the traditional wedding night where a man becomes one with a woman. A ministry which stands against the lie of overpopulation. For what God has given, he has given in abundance for everybody. The world population is 7.3 billion. And if you gave them all 2,000 square feet houses, Alaska alone could house them all easily and have enough provision from its mineral wealth and food chain to abundantly supply them all. You need to give to a ministry which is, as the Constitution demands, exposing the lies and the heresies. Best way to give is go to ecctv.org where you'll find on the footer PayPal and stewardship buttons, the latter one can claim gift aid. Father, we come in name of Jesus, thanking you for the provision thou hast provided for this ministry to continue. £5,000 per month needed just to one wit on and its media activity. But Father, we need the resources to go out on mission take video on mission, go into the whole world as thou has commanded to preach the gospel, cast out devils, heal the sick, and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. <coughs> you know, microchip implants are now being used in Sweden. I believe are in the very last of the last days, living in the shadow of the tribulation and as we go forward we need to bring people into the kingdom so that they do not have to go through the great tribulation which is building up right now there being clear revelation of the antichrist spirit at large but do you trust the presence his majesty to suppress these implants now being given in Sweden? Or will he embrace the mark of the beast? Now on this platform, unlike GB News, we can't give medical information, but I refer you to that channel for it. We need to believe Psalm 91 with all of our hearts, plagues and pestilences are happening like never before. <coughs> our next question, did His Majesty embrace the no prosecution list of Northern Ireland that cost this ministry millions, but more importantly, denied justice to the people who lost loved ones in Northern Ireland? Has His Majesty made any effort to repent on behalf of the nation to the Irish people who lost so many to the Irish potato famine when Ireland was part of the UK? This is a very big issue. There needs to be healing. But Great Britain neglected its Irish friends. And we need as a nation to come together and say to the Irish people, we repent and would like you so much as our neighbor to be part of our great trading deals, which a proper government can organize if it's using its fossil fuel. His Majesty will promise on the coronation oath of 1953 being continued 
and dare they not do it. To uphold the Protestant reform religion established by law and the upholding of the Christian gospel. Yet this great coronation service is not taught in our schools, in our colleges, our universities. The refusal to teach <coughs> the present generation this heritage, our constitution and the word of God has removed the base from where ministries can operate. Her Majesty promised to protect us. And I put to you, she has hopelessly failed. Now we have His Majesty likely to take the same oath. And we ask, will there now be the protection for Christian ministries to preach the gospel as is demanded in our Constitution? The reign of the last monarch. We've witnessed Christian movements after Christian movement bow down to the new world order. And it's phony Bibles of Codices, Vaticanus, Alexandrinus, and Sinaiticus, sold through commercial publishers like that owned by Rupert Murdoch. Her Majesty promised to protect the Protestant faith. And now His Majesty now rules an Anglican church embracing the codices I've just mentioned rather than that of Textus Receptus, the received text, the KJV Bible of 1611 that is of crown copyright. Oh, the Bible asks the question, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I tell you, we can move about in power. We can be strengthened by those being called to give financially so we can get this word out. Are you to give today? Go to ecctv.org to the footer where you will find PayPal and stewardship buttons. We welcome you at that page. Or you can send a check to the Bible College of Wales, 23 to 27 George Street, Whitton, Scotland, DG8, 8NS. <coughs> Forgive my coughing, I'm getting over a really heavy cold. And I'm determined to get this message out today. I have to put to you that Her Majesty failed to protect the remnant church from threats to destroy us, like we endured in 2010, when we were told that we would be destroyed through official channels. Inquiry after inquiry followed, costing huge amounts in legal fees. I believe we were not the only ones, and that the remnant need to re demand the payback and call a repentance in the nation, not just national days of prayer, as were called by King George VI, but now under King Charles III, national days of prayer and repentance in relation, first of all, to the most important crime, the slaughter of the innocents. There's been refusal to take note of the prophets. In spite of the coronation service, embracing the priesthood of Zadok and Nathan the prophet, the priesthood that is, that gave the Lord his preeminence, rather than the ministry of Eli that ministered to each other. David Wilkerson in 1986 warned of a great plague that would come on the world, even the establishment church. And we have witnessed this over the last two to three years. And it is with every passion that I ask you to give powerfully to this ministry. In the name of Jesus, you will find PayPal and stewardship buttons 
and ECCTV.org. This is our October telethon. <clears throat> and we ask you to give in the name of Jesus. And here reign the now the late Her Majesty oversaw governments that have cost lives and brought instability in the Middle East. I brought in a Supreme Court above the Lord's spiritual temple so that we can no longer trust in the mother of legal processes. For also there's been the politicization of our education system with children and students brainwashed in the ideologies of man rather than God. I have to put to you that in this context with the slaughter of the children, with the brainwashing of the children, the last 70 years has not been a good one in relation to upholding the word of God and the promises of the monarch to God. 2008, the Supreme Court suppressed an edict of the House of Lords <coughs> exposing banks in their corruptions and whereas in Iceland we witnessed bankers being jailed and the victims being compensated whereas in this country the victims lost houses and homes, their businesses and the banks were bailed out by the government. Oh, how the truth needs to come out in the name of Jesus and ministries funded to be able to bring out that truth. We pray it into being in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we praise you, O Lord. We give you the glory that in Jesus' name we will witness Thy glory manifest, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are standing up to the global elite and need your support. We believe God has called us to do this and not the following. For we have witnessed year after year of unrighteous decrees that fail to protect, decrees increasing mental health problems and suicides, non-treatments of cancers leading to death. Oh, how we need to bring the nation to its knees. We have witnessed a number 10 Downing Street becoming a house of ill repute, of drunkenness, rather than a house of prayer. We witness in education circles an anti-Christian rogue ideology rather than the Christian gospel the mother promised to uphold. Will you give to this ministry today? Ask God what you should give <clears throat> for we are determined to expose all this and bring the people to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Away from media controlled by government. Away from all the effects of the last two to three years. And I'm speaking with every passion here today. We have a media which is no longer investigative, no longer impartial. Of course, there's notable exceptions. I've already mentioned one in GB News is also to a lesser degree, Talk TV. But I need to tell you the whole truth needs to come out and we need the resources to have a satellite channel going out all over the world, exposing the new world order, exposing the deep state, the deep church, these 
antichrist spirits already operating in the world bringing about morals as in the day of Noah which we know is now father we declare that the hour of thy coming we don't know but thou has given us signs of the times one of which is morals as in the days of Noah and we pray father for this mighty revival which I believe will occur before the rapture which is imminent we need the resources to reach the people and you can go to ecctv.org and go to the footer where you will find PayPal and stewardship buttons oh father we praise you and give you all the glory easiest way to give is to go to the footer of ecctv.org where there are give net and paypal buttons or please send your checks written to the bible college of wales 23 to 27 george street witton wigtonshire uk dg 88 ns thank you for joining us this day in our monthly telethon this is so important to give 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 not only do we need the five thousand to uphold our wit on operation per month we need the resources to increase our media outputs increase mission trips increase intercessions throughout the country father we thank you for thy provision we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Thank you for being with us today. In Jesus' name, amen.